Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 72 and the question number is 6. It says a particle is projected with velocity 50 meters per second at an angle theta to the horizontal. Uh, we're given that cos theta is 3 fifths and we're asked to express the position vector in terms uh, after t seconds in terms of the unit vectors. So let's just sketch the diagram or sketch the motion. So basically we have a velocity vector, initial velocity vector u and the particle coming to, going down like this where this is velocity and this is time. Of course as normal our velocity, initial velocity vector is taking up both the x and y axes so it is a resultant vector so we're going to resolve it into its component unit vectors they are the two vectors which when added together will give you your vector namely u sub y j hat and u sub i or u sub x excuse me i hat I'm just going to get rid of this for a moment. Now we're told that it's projected at an angle of theta. And just, I'm going to get rid of this just for some for, for clarity. The next thing is that we know how to resolve vectors with angles. We can use just a quick, um, we'll say, uh, a quick reminder. We have Sakatoa. All right, where sine is opposite of hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent of hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite of adjacent. So say, for example, we had a triangle here which we call the, we'll say the hypotenuse of magnitude u and this was theta here then we'll say sine theta is equal to the opposite which is going to call z o over u therefore o is equal to u sine theta and similarly a the adjacent is equal to u cos theta so this is u cos theta here and this here is equal to u sine theta like so. So applying that same reasoning, the exact same reasoning, we'll see that u sub x i hat is actually u cos theta i hat and this is equal to u sine theta j. And we know of course that u is equal to 50 meters per second. So the next thing is we do our u vast x axis y axis. Plug in the things that we know. So it's always at 50. Yeah, it was 50. And there are all the things that we know. Uh, we're, at, we're also told, by the way, that cos theta is equal to 3 fifths. So look, if cos theta is equal to 3 fifths, remember cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so we have 3 and we have 5 here. So in order to get the opposite we use Pythagoras, so 5 squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared, or well, excuse me, uh, plus a squared, and you're going to find that a is equal to 4, like so. So therefore the sine is equal to 4 fifths and the cosine is equal to 3 fifths. So look, if we apply that over here, so it's 50 times 4 over 5 so that's 40 and 50 times 3 over 5 that's equal to 30 is there anything else we have so okay express the position vector so we need to get the position we need to get s sub x and s sub y so if we apply v is equal to u plus at we're just going to get this at 30t and this is going to be 40t plus a half gt squared like so and therefore the answer is going to be uh, where we're on question six the answer is going to be that the vector s is equal to s sub excuse me s sub x i hat plus s sub y j hat is equal to 30t i hat plus 40t plus a half gt squared j hat. Alright, so let's just check that there. Hmm, just one second there, I can't see where I've got the answer here. So it's 30, yeah, and 40 minus 9.8. 
yeah, that's the half gt squared. Why is it 9.8? Is that a typo? Just one second, I'm just going to check the back of the book. 3a, question 6. Yes, what we have is correct. So the next part of the question says, find the magnitude to the nearest meters per second and direction to the nearest degree of the velocity of the particle when t is equal to 1 seconds. Alright, so I'm just going to note what, what my horizontal range, actually I don't need to note that, I know it. Okay, so we need to basically find the speed after 1 second. Like so. So v is equal to u plus at, so it's 30 here, and it's 40 plus gt. So we'll say v sub y is equal to 40 minus 4 point, minus, excuse me, 9.8 times 1, like so. So that's equal to 30.02, or 30.2, excuse me. All right. Uh, where do we have that now? I'm just going to check that back of the book again. Magnitude, excuse me, I asked to find the magnitude. So what we know is this, we know that V is equal to 30 I hat plus 30.2 J hat. Alright, so if this is V, or this is V like this, then what we have are its resultant vectors where this is 30.2 and this is 30. So in order to get V, we need to use Pythagoras. So we get V is equal to the square root of 30.2 squared plus 30 squared, so it's 30.2 to be squared plus 30 squared and root that, get an answer 42.56. So v, the magnitude of V is equal to 42, we'll say, meters per second. Just going to check that. Yeah, that's correct. And the last part of the question says, calculate the horizontal range of the particle to the nearest meter. The horizontal range. Now, of course, you need to think about the, the condition for range. You know that S sub Y the height above ground is equal to 0, so s sub y is equal to 0 and equal to 40 times t uh, minus 4.9 t squared. So take out t again, like so, that's equal to 0. And when two things multiply together, one of them is equal to, or that makes 0, one of them is 0, and we have t is equal to. Eight point one six. Eight point one six seconds. So just check that at the back of the book. Oh wait, that's the time. Excuse me, I'm rushing ahead of myself again for some reason. Eight point one six seconds. How do you know it's not zero? Well, after zero seconds, the thing is just out, is just is still on the ground. So that is not the one we're looking for. So all we do now is plug eight point one six into thirty t. So we have thirty times that. Uh, so that's 245 meters approximately. I'm going to check that once more at the back of the book. 245 is right. Now we need to get the direction. Uh, magnitude and direction. What's that now? Oh, are we, did we get that? Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.